All five lights are on, and we go green in Hong Kong. It's a good start from Vern. He's going to hold the lead on the run down to Tamar Park. Everybody covers the inside line. There's a bold move there around the outside from Felix Rosenquist trying to get... No, it's Heidfeld, isn't it? Trying to get involved around the outside. He can't quite do it. Everybody safely through the first corner. Everybody safely through the second corner as well. As everyone shuffles their way through the man post chicane. PK is up on his wheels. Almost a lotter is in the wall. And there's a traffic jam. So uh, a red flag declared then by the race director. The cars will make their way back to the grid. The, uh, and all the cars actually are coming back into the pit lane now then. So the safety car will now pull out. The thing now is that they have to stay behind the safety car when the safety pulls out. They can't go as slowly as possible. They have to keep within a certain distance. Safety car in this lap then confirmation that we will go green again on lap four. But here goes John Eric Verne, he's floored the throttle now at the safety car restart. A big crash at the start has delayed the opening to season four of Formula E Hong Kong. But now the safety car pulls in. Sam Bird in second place for DS Virgins. Look how close they are coming past Hong Kong Station. Uh, did a little look to the oh. inside, there he goes up the inside and six of the hairpin. Great move from Sam Bird. He nearly binned it there in qualifying. Now he's taken the lead in the race. Now into the pits oh, comes Bird. No. And he's missed his way in, and now he is going to have to jump into the other car. It's so slippery and dusty in there in the pit lane. Whether there's some form of penalty involved did for he, that, we'll have to wait and see. Did he hit someone? Tried to kick it out of the way. You're, yes. you're not, <laughs> it's not going to work, mate. No, well, but, he's jumped over it and then stood up uh, by his own accord. Great so that's to see he's okay. But meanwhile, in comes Alex Lin, who started the race way down in 16th place and is now up into ninth. Oh. Sam Bird, the race leader, given a drive through penalty, article 37.6. He was in contravention of, of the sporting regulations. Oh, and Vern's gone wide. Vern's gone wide at the chicane. And that gives Bird the advantage he needs to pull a little bit clear. Almost gave Heidfeld the advantage. Here comes Sam Bird serving his drive through penalty. Where's he going to emerge then? Is he going to be in front still? He is, yes, that's he in is. the lead. He's still in the lead. Oh, my god! So Sam Bird, despite having a drive-through penalty, has managed to emerge just in front of Jean-Eric Verne and Nick Heidfeld. As he turns through the final corner now, out onto Lungwo Street for the final time, Sam Bird wins in Hong Kong, the opening race of the season. Sam Bird onto the top step, or on top of his car, I should say, and he is getting used to that winning feeling, isn't he? <laughs> Englishman delighted for the DS Virgin Racing Team for the sixth time in his Formula E career, makes his way to the top step of the podium, wins the opening round of the season in Hong Kong, and also for the first time in his career, takes the lead of the FIA Formula E Championship. As he sprays the champagne and goes well out there and gets stuck into his team, they're going to need to wash those overnight ahead of the second race of this doubleheader. Well, here's a look at the results of round one. Victory to Sam Bird, his sixth of his career in Formula E. And Alex Lynn had a pretty eventful day, a fine ninth. Well, it's a new season. The cliche is the meter goes back to zero. We hope you'll join us for the entire second half of this season opening doubleheader weekend, the HKT Hong Kong e -Pri. Hey guys, I'm Sam Bird from DS Virgin Racing. Thanks ever so much, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and I will speak to you next time.